This video is brought to you by, AE Juice, get ready to use professional and easy to use transitions and presets, glitch animated background, logo reveal, text animation, different smooth transitions, trailer titles and many more, you can get them individually or you can get it in a bundle. It's also available for Premiere Pro and After Effects. Check out the first link in the description. Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. In this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have imported my logo, which I will be using in this tutorial. Check out the link in the description for all the files needed for this project. Now let's create a new composition. I will name it as Logo Reveal. We'll set time duration to, 5 seconds. Now add logo to the timeline. You can scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Recompose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. Now for this logo composition, go to layer, select auto trace, this will create mask for logo. Press U to view keyframes. I will delete all this keyframes. for this logo composition. In effects. From video copilot, select Saba, if you can't see this Saba option, then you need to install Saba plugin, download link is provided in the description, this will hide the mask, in customize core, set core type to, layer mask. Here we will set preset to, replicant. Here you can set color of your choice. Here I will set it to red. Set core size to 0.17. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for start size. Set it to 0%. Now at 1 second and 15 frames, set it to 200%. Press U to view keyframes. Now at 3 seconds. Create keyframe for start size, now at 4 seconds and 15 frames. Set start size to 0%. Now at 4 seconds and 15 frames, create keyframe for start offset, now at start. Set start offset to 100%. You can see the preview. Now set end size to 0%. Now at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for end offset. Now at 4 seconds and 15 frames. Set end offset to 0%. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now in render setting, set composition setting to, add, set alpha mode to, mask core, to see the output, in effects and preset, search for fill, add it to the logo composition, set color to black, place it above saber effect, you can see the preview, Perfect. 
Now again add Saber effect. In Customize Core, select, Layer Mask. Now change preset to, Yellow Smoke. Here I will set Glow Color to Light Pink. Set Glow Intensity to, 40%. Now at start of the timer line, create keyframe for start size. Set it to 0%. Now at 1 second and 15 frames. Set start size to 200%. Press U to view keyframes. Now at 3 seconds, create keyframe for start size, at 4 seconds and 15 frames. Set start size to 0%. Now at 4 seconds and 15 frames. Create keyframe for start offset. Now at start. Set start offset to 100%. You can see the preview. Now set end size to 0%. Now at 2 seconds. Create keyframe for end offset, at 4 seconds and 15 frames, set end offset to, 0%. You can see the preview. In render setting, set composition setting to, add. Set mode to, mask core. For this core. Here we will slightly adjust the mask evolution. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's add the logo composition to the timeline. For logo, in effects and preset, Search for CC Glass. Add it to the logo composition. For Glass, in Surface, change property to, Alpha. Set Softness to, 5. Now set Height to, 5. Set Displacement to, 10. Now in Light, change Type to, Point Light. Now at Start, position the light. Create keyframe for light position. Now at near about 3 seconds. Change light position as shown. Now in shading. Set metal to 50. For logo, press T to bring up opacity. Now at 1 second and 15 frames, create keyframe for opacity. At start, set opacity to 0%. Now place it at 2 seconds and 15 frames. You can see the preview. Now select both composition, pre-compose them. Name it as Sab logo. Here I will import the, the background and light leak, you can get it from the description. Add the light leak below logo. Set mode to, add. Now in effects and preset, search for tritone. Add it to light leak. Set mid-tone color as shown. Now create duplicate of the light leak. Change color as shown. Here we will rotate it to 180 degree. Now let's add the background media file. 
Now select Ellipse Tool. Create Mask as shown. Select Inverted. Adjust the Mask Feather as shown. Press T to bring up Opacity, now at 3 seconds. Create Keyframe for Opacity, set it to 8%. Now at 2 seconds, set Opacity to 5%. Now at 1 second, set Opacity to 0%. Set background mode to add. For SAB logo, set mode to add. Now let's create a new solid. Double click on this ellipse tool to create mask. Select inverted. Now set mask feather to 400. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for noise. Add it to the adjustment layer. For noise, set amount of noise to 5%. Now again create a new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for radial blur. Add it to the adjustment layer. Now at near about 20 frames. Create keyframe for amount, set amount to 20. Now at 1 second and 20 frames. Set amount to 0. Set type to zoom. Set quality to high. Now create new adjustment layer. In effects and preset, search for curves, add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now for SAB logo, press S to bring up scale, now attend, create keyframe for scale. At start, set scale to 115%. Set it to 120%. Create a new solid layer. Press T to bring up opacity, now at end of the timeline, create keyframe for opacity, now at 4 seconds. Set opacity to 0%. Now you can see the complete preview. Perfect, here our logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.